10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, commanded to start, 2, 1. <laughs> There we have it. New Shepard has cleared the tower. Woo! One Earth on your way to space. There, a great shot <gasps> of the B3 engine with the sunrise behind it. What a fabulous shot by our drones. I can't imagine how our One Earth crew is feeling. That is one of the most beautiful takeoffs I've ever seen. So on the left there, we've got our altitude meter, our velocity meter, and those are starting to tick up as the BE-3 engine powers our crew to space. What a shot. This long-range camera here is fabulous. It really is. So yes, if you're watching at home, you can follow along on the Shepard's climbing. journey by taking a look at the telemetry on your screen. You can Beginning see our T-clock on the right-hand side, telemetry on the left. And we hear there that we're throttling down the BE-3 for max Q. That's the point where aerodynamic stress is at its maximum. We're approaching 30,000 feet. New Shepard is really picking up speed. And right now the astronauts are experiencing about three Gs. A shot from our tail looking back down on West Texas. A clear day too. Yeah, well, so now that the vehicle has gone supersonic, um, that B3 engine is powered back up to full power, 100% power supersonic. level. There it is. Now that the vehicle's supersonic, the B3 is powered up uh, and pushing our astronauts to space. Engine back up to full throttle. Chamber pressures look good. Great. We've just passed one minute and 45 seconds into flight. Passing to 100,000 feet. About to hit 100,000 feet. There it is. Next up is Miko, which will be main engine cutoff. That'll be at about 160,000 feet. So great shot here Astronaut of the avionics the tunnel Chief. and two of the aft fins um, that help you know, guide the rocket on its way up. On your screen, you can see to the left-hand side that long range. And there's Miko, main engine cutoff. Great view. Stand by separation. Oh, and we're getting audio from our Astros. Stand by separation. Okay. Separation. Some messages from our One Earth crew. That separation is confirmed. They are now free to move around the cabin. Yeah, and if you're following along, you'll notice now on your telemetry, you have capsule and booster. These uh, parts of New Shepard are both going to reach uh, and cross the Carmen line before reaching Apogee and, and making their way back down. But we've got a little bit of time before that. I'm hearing some laughter. And welcome beyond the Carmen line, One Earth crew. Congratulations. I, I don't know. I hope they're enjoying their microgravity right now, doing oh, somersaults and enjoying the view. They certainly, I'm sure they are. I can't wait to look at that footage later, which, of course, we're going to be posting on our social media. And in the future, we'll actually be able to have live cameras inside the capsule. Right now, though, we just have some audio for you. <laughs> Okay, Tabitha, we've reached Apogee. Now both vehicles are being uh, pulled back down to Earth under the effect of gravity. So we're going to focus first on the booster and its path, and then we'll switch and rejoin our astronauts in the crew capsule. Yeah, and if you have been following along on your screen, you'll notice the telemetry is still working, it looks like, for the booster on the capsule. Uh, it stopped there, but we're going we're gonna to keep you updated on all the milestones, so don't you worry. Uh, 
doing? How are you doing? I'm good. Are you good? <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I'm good too. Yeah, we're good. We're all good. I love that it is a clear day, so we can still have this long-range camera that's getting a shot of both the capsule and the booster. Oh, there's friends and family. Yeah, it's a game sometimes to see who can spot the vehicles first in that clear blue sky on, on their way down. So yeah. we'll, see, we'll see if they react and start pointing. All right, as you heard, they've got their one minute warning. That's right, one more minute to enjoy the weightlessness, the views before finding your way back to your seat and harnessing up. And they've practiced this moment over and over and over again. Um, so they can soak up every second of being able to look out those big windows. Status check, astronaut Yokan. So while our team is doing a status check, uh, again, just super impressive, these long range cameras from the ground that are able to track both vehicles. And you can really tell how the booster is coming down fast, oh, yeah. much more quickly than the crew capsule. That's because of its aerodynamic shape. We're going to follow that um, and, and, and point things out as we see them. Yeah, our crew right now behind the scenes is working to get that telemetry up again so that you can follow along. But don't you worry, we've got eyes on the booster here. We're going to be following it as it makes its way down, and I'll be getting updates from our mission control. So, so it looks like we've got the ring fin and the forward fins already deployed. Um, so that helps to stabilize the vehicle. It raises the center of pressure um, to, to, to give it basically stability as it's flying backwards through the atmosphere. What a great shot. Oh, man. And those are the drag brakes deploying. That cuts the velocity of the vehicle by half. Capsule descending anomaly yep, through 40,000 feet. That's about 15,000 feet. Booster drag brakes deployed. There's the BE3 engine reigniting, slowing down the booster for the last part of the landing here. Great drone shot. Look at that. Yeah. And Eddie, you want to talk a little bit about the mathematics that goes into making sure the booster lands at the same spot every single time? Well, well part of it is that we'll circle back to that one, Tabitha. Let's enjoy this view. Welcome home, New Shepard booster. That's a great touchdown shot there of the drone. Uh, I'm sorry, of the booster from the drone and now from our desert cameras. Booster auto Look at that. Start. This is the 15th flight of this booster. Incredible. Starting that auto safing sequence as well. Standby drogues. Now look at the sunrise, just the sort of the golden hour of the morning on our launch landing pad there. Right, the booster landing about two miles from um, where the uh, New Shepard took off, and capsule. we've reacquired the crew capsule picture. Any moment, you'll see those drogues deploy, and after that, you will see the parachutes. There go, go the drogues. Right, and those drogue shoots use use the air resistance to pull out the main chutes. So that's what we're going to be looking for here. And there go the parachutes. And while the parachutes are essential in providing a gentle touchdown capsule for the main capsule, parachute deployment it also confirmed. has a retro thrust system. That is at the base of the capsule, which will make that final touchdown even smoother. Right, we were talking about sort of landing, you know, as gentle as a feather in a, in a light breeze. That, that's what we're going for here with the, with the retro thrust system. It's the terminal deceleration capsule system, TDS. Capsule landing zone is within expected range limit. It's, it's essentially a, a compressed gas system that, that um, you know, exhausts a cushion of air uh, in those last feet before the capsule touches the desert uh, and makes capsule for a soft landing. That's right. So if you're watching, feet. you'll see, oh, there's a big puff of dust that's happening. That's a good thing. That means they're landing about a mile an hour. It's very, very soft. And, and Tabitha, what a great shot here. PDF Three enabled. full parachutes. You know, you've, you've been to space, you're enjoying, look at this shot with- I the, bet those views are great yeah, too. <laughs> there's the Sierra Diablo Mountains behind it, Victoria Canyon on the left, um, and just a wonderful shot of, of our West Texas desert.
And I can't wait to hear what our astronauts have to say upon returning. Again, CM7 Rob Freelowski will be chatting with our Astros um, once they land back there in West Texas. And we have touchdown on the back, one Earth. <laughs> and of course they're clapping, of course they're clapping. What an experience. Welcome back to Earth, One Earth. And look at those parachutes coming down softly. Right now our CM7 and recovery crew has left uh, their fallback position and are headed as quickly as they can, as safely as they can, to the crew capsule to meet the crew, One Earth on their return from space. That's right, our uh, CM7 is going to be helping safe that capsule. And a big shout out today to our drone operators who have gotten some incredible shots. I'm gonna have to get some pointers from these guys for some of my next videos because these are crispy. Yeah, I think I've, I found my new desktop background with that <laughs> B3 engine and the sunrise behind oh, it. Oh yeah. Or, or maybe this one here, right? With the crew capsule in the desert and the, the mesquite bushes behind them. Um, yeah, this is, this is awesome.